someday. And if your current decor dilemma is carpets, we've got you covered. With the infinite patterns, textures, and sizes to choose from, it can be a little overwhelming to make a decision. But not when you've got Kimberly Selden here to help. All right, Kim, I think the first thing people struggle with is finding the right size of carpet, which is interesting because in your last segment, you said your carpet was too small. And there's so many folks at home watching and thinking, no, 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 that's just right. And you're, you would say, no, 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 not at all. It needs to be bigger. You know, yeah. As a general rule, the bigger the carpet, the bigger the room looks. So if the goal is to make your space feel as large as possible, you really want to get the biggest carpet possible. Plus, in a perfect world, all the furniture sits on the carpet. I mean, it just, it isn't always possible. And so you do what I did. You have some of the, you have the legs of the furniture sitting on the carpet. And that's okay, too. Now, what is the first thing we need right. to consider, uh, Kimberly, when we're picking sort of a vibe for our carpet? Ooh, I'll tell you how I, I, I tell clients right away to, if you're going to do it on your own, a really good distinction to make off the bat is, am I looking for a city carpet or a country carpet? Uh, I'm talking about the aesthetics. So a city carpet tends to be uh, tighter, more dense. It will have a more distinct pattern. The pattern will be very clear. Often there's a lot of uh, white space or background that's a solid color, which makes it a little bit more difficult in terms of keeping it free of stains. Um, but that's kind of a general rule about, about city carpets. You can kind of see the pattern a little bit more distinctly. Then country ca carpets tend to be looser, nubblier. And you can see here that the pattern is less distinct. One color kind of bleeds into the next color. And then, of course, there's the transitional, right? I've got this one in the middle here, which I would say is more of a transitional carpet. Can kind of go either way because you've got this nice mottled kind of country texture in the background. And then you've got this high-end cut on top. Okay, so that's something to consider. So you've picked a city and a country, and I've never really thought of it that way. Now let's focus on pattern. How do we get the right pattern for our space? Okay, well, I'm really glad we're talking about this because often people will say, well, I want something traditional or I want something uh, um, um, casual or I want something modern. That's not so helpful. Much more helpful is to come up with adjectives that are fun. So maybe you want a room to feel dramatic and sexy, in which case I think the carpet behind me works really well for that. I would describe that carpet as dramatic and sexy. But what if you wanted a room that was zen and peaceful? That carpet behind me would not work. You might want a room that's playful, energetic. It's going to be a family room, and that's how you would describe it. So think of adjectives that will kind of put you in the mood for looking for the carpet. So between the country and city distinction and then coming up with adjectives, it helps narrow it down so you make a choice that's right for your space. Oh, this is really good advice. Okay, so say you are in the market for something playful, a playful carpet. What might you uh, have for that? Ooh, should I go over here? Should I go over here? <laughs> I, I'm going with polka dots. Okay. Um, now, I, I will say it's totally subjective, right? You might think I, polka dots aren't playful. They're just wrong. But I happen to think polka dots are really playful. And a carpet like this is going to set a certain mood, which is the whole point, right? It's energetic. It might be a playroom. It's a room where there's a lot of action and activity. And then I'm going to pair a choice like this with irreverent kind of choices in terms of coloring, like the pink and the green look beautiful together. Playful accessorizing could work really well in terms of how this overall room is going to look. So I'm always thinking about what's the mood I'm trying to create in this space. Well, I feel like you uh, hit the nail on the head with creating a sexy vibe in your space with the, with the rug that you showed us, the carpet you showed us earlier. Anything else you would want to show us for a sexy vibe in our carpet? Sexy. And again, like I said, like somebody could look at that and say, that's not sexy. It's too stimulating. It makes me anxious. And that is not hot, right? So maybe you're someone who thinks subtle 
appeal is more sexy. Like this, I sort of look at these as almost like champagne bubbles, if you will. And it's a gray and white, and you can see it's got this great texture on it. This one happens to be made of wool and silk, so it's gonna be highly cleanable in terms of the material. But one thing you wanna look at when you're thinking about cleanability, you wanna bend the carpet back on itself. You can see how you can see all the way to the back of the carpet here. So that is gonna trap dirt. So this is not not going to be a great choice for a highly trafficked area, a busy, busy family, for example, dogs, that kind of thing. It's a room that doesn't get used that often. Maybe it's an office or maybe you're empty nesters like my husband and I. And I would pair that with equally um, sexy choices, maybe, you know, some black accents. I love the quartz with that. That's so pretty. Or stripes are awesome to go with that. Again, totally subjective, right? Absolutely, because everyone's got a different idea of what sexy is. But you can sort of liken it to fashion in the sense that we wake up every day and you decide, okay, am I going to be cash today? Am I going to be dressed up today? Am I going to be sexy today? Sort of, you can use that analogy when it comes to picking out your carpet for your space, can't you? It's such a good thing to think about, but here's the, here's the tragedy. Your room is like one outfit for a long time. <laughs> like I had my place done 12 years ago, so it's 12 years, and then I did a refresh. Most people don't even refresh that often. So you want to make sure this is a look you're really going to like for a long, long time. And I even think like when you get into like a casual country carpet like one of these, you know, um, you're, it's a totally different vibe. Every decision you make throughout is going to be a different vibe. You're going to have wicker baskets and you're going to have, you know, like uh, rustic items and, you know, kind of country elements that go along with that. So it isn't just about the carpet. There's all these other things that are going to play in as well. Amazing lesson, Kimberly. Thank you so much. You've got great design advice, and we have even more design advice from you on our website at cityline.tv.